right, coming up next, it's a light heavyweight matchup between the Iceman, Chuck Liddell, and smiling Sam Alvin. Pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Our tale of the tape for this light heavyweight tilt. Three years apart, with the same height, and a similar reach. And now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, a referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 33 wins, 17 losses, one draw, and one no contest. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Temecula, California, smiling Sam Alvey. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 21 wins, 9 losses. He stands 6 feet 2 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of San Luis Obispo, California, Ladies and gentlemen, he is a member of the UFC Hall of Fame and the former UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, the Iceman, Chuck You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. taking on a true five-tool play. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. 
perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Big kick lands. The left punch is true, now the right hand. Uppercut lands for him. Wild attempt with the right hand there. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Real sneaky body kick. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. Even oh! Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. Unbelievable. What a fight. Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. And there he is, all smiles. What a huge knockout he turned in here tonight. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 17 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Iceman, Chuck Lowe.